Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I am discussing AMC stock. A new piece has just been published on AMC Outlook and according to this Market Watch story, the outlook is quite bright. There is also an article highlighting the fact that Adam Aaron had urged the NYSE and FINRA to investigate the company's stock trading. Thus, this made the news. It's been a while since he sent the tweet, but it's now in a new article and I'm wondering if anything will come of it. I highly doubt it. But it is also noteworthy to note that despite a minor increase in AMC stock today, the stock fell again today. Overall, we will therefore be positive. And I would like to discuss the litigation with you in April and at the end of April. In the conclusion, click like, subscribe, and notification, and then share the video with a friend. Here are comments and bullish AMC-related news. While this week's shareholder vote is crucial to AMC's continuous effort to erase debt, judicial actions are also imminent, according to this story. Allegheny County Pension Fund filed a lawsuit against AMC in the Delaware Court of Chancery in February, saying that AMC's issuance of apes circumvents shareholders' wishes to prevent additional share dilution. Is that not so? Extremely true, buddies. The footage I uploaded last night demonstrates how the business to whom Adam Aaron sold the ape held it. I forgot the company's name because I was concentrating on this piece. They subsequently sold 50 million shares the day following the vote. This proves conclusively that they purchased those shares solely to outvote us. And in this court case, Allegheny County Pension Fund asserts that AMC's issue of APE goes against the wishes of shareholders who wish to prevent future share dilution. That is proof beyond any reasonable doubt. Adam Aaron arranged a backdoor agreement with this corporation to purchase close to 200 million AP shares at $0.68 per share. Come on now, this is not about debt repayment. Not even close, this is not about debt repayment. If he had desired to repay the obligation, he would have sold him for $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10, $4, $3 or even $2. He really sold them for $0.68. There is a need for investigation. Okay. And this CEO, Adam Aaron, is expected to assist retail shareholders, yet look at how he is not doing so. Yes, vote we received. It caused AMC to crash, and it crashed. So the good thing is that we have this case on April 27. Let's see what else this article has to say. During Tuesday's meeting, AMC CEO Adam Aaron reaffirmed the company's intention to strongly defend itself against the allegations. The CEO noted that until a judicial judgment, AMC cannot implement the measures voted on at the meeting. On April 27, the court has set a hearing. As previously stated, this is a brand new piece that was just published yesterday, and I'm sharing it with you today. Third Bridges Lumley remarked that there is still uncertainty as the April hearing approaches despite the fact that the Volts verdict demonstrates that AMC has a potential channel for raising much-needed financing. Yet, even with extra funding, AMC faces a number of obstacles in the future. While entertainment expenditures are somewhat insulated from the effects of a recession, they are not entirely immune. Overall, he added, this is not conducive to AMC's revenue development. Well, so basically they're pointing out the article and all. But the main header of the 16 March 2023 post is that AMC is positioned exceptionally well for 2023, according to Wedbush Wedbush. So basically, the paper asserts that AMC is positioned to succeed and will have a bright future. Hence, this is excellent news for you and I. According to Wedbush Securities Equity Research Analyst Alicia Reese, AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc. is in a favorable position, bolstered by movie-going trends and the outcome of a crucial shareholder vote this week. They voted in favor of the company's plan on Tuesday blah blah blah. She stated that the outcome is positive for AMC's efforts to reduce its debt. Ank excited. They exited 2022 with a debt of $4.9 billion, of which $221 million was paid off. Let's see. Adam Aaron the chief executive officer of AMC, proclaimed a landslip win at a special shareholder meeting on Tuesday. Sure, right? Yeah. When you rig the vote, you win by a landslip. And when you vote, 200 million ape shares from a backdoor deal you conducted are counted. 
followed by all the hedge firms from BlackRock and Citadel, voting yes with their multi-million share holdings. Even while many of us may possess a few thousand or 10,000 or 15,000 shares, I believe one of our subscribers has something like 100,000 shares. It's great. Nevertheless, we are rather minor players, and if we all vote no, we will be significantly outvoted. Hence, let's conduct a forensic audit of the vote and determine how many true shareholders voted in favor of this, because I doubt that many of us did. Perhaps 10% of us responded positively. All right, I'll assume 90% of us voted against this proposal. Then, all of the major shareholders with hundreds of millions of shares, including Adam Aaron, answered yes. The CEO complimented on the shareholders' discernment, as seen by their voting. Sure, right. You provided us with the resources necessary to wage the good babble in your name, he continued. What a ludicrous line of reasoning from Adam Aaron. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah. The article continues by stating that the stock fell immediately following the affirmative vote. As is well known. Let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Is there anything more in this post that you should know about? The expert predicts that the North American box office will reach at least 75% of 2019's levels. That would be wonderful for AMC prior to the pandemic. In addition, the analyst group anticipates a 15% to 20% increase from 2022 to 2023. Friends, according to this research, this is very good news for AMC. Rees stated that AMC is positioned extraordinarily well in light of all of these factors. She explained that moviegoers are gravitating towards premium large-format displays, which bodes well for the AMC theater company. In North America, AMC has the biggest footprint of IMAX screens. Consider earnings. Consider any big event covered by AMC. In the past, borrowing costs have increased as expected prior to a major event because volatility is increasing. The stock price might rise or fall significantly, right? The cost of borrowing should increase. This demonstrates volatility. After the tragedy, interest rates should decline, not increase by 100% day after day. She stated that they also have a connection with Dolby theaters. In addition, they possess their own large format, premium screens. Also, the analyst highlighted the company's attempts to target profitable movie theater markets. They are closing, she added, screens that are underperforming. In lieu of this, they are acquiring excellent theater assets in DMAs with strong performance. Okay, in essence, this concludes the article. Extremely uplifting article. I wanted to share it with your friends for this reason. I have paid memberships to several publications, therefore I like to share them for free with my friends and keep you informed of all the news without charge. Simply click like and notifications. Friends, that is all I ask of you. We are a group of financiers. I feel that if you are a subscriber, hit the like button and leave a remark, we are a team. Indeed, I am in charge of the videos, but we are a team. We are a modest investor group. I have read your remarks. I am aware of the stocks you recommend. I see. What is your response? I evaluate everything as I listen to you, read it, and then consider you again. Okay, I greatly appreciate you all. Okay, I do see us as a team. Have a wonderful day. I'll chat to you soon.